Hello, I am Father Rameshwar Kanha. Today I want to speak about the sign of cross. Sign of the cross speaks about our salvation. And the Catechism of the Catholic Church, 1285, we read The sign of the cross on the threshold of the salvation marks with the imprint of Christ, the one who is going to belong to Him and signifies the grace of the redemption Christ won for us by His cross. So this is where the sign of the cross, we are remembering the cross of Jesus Christ, how He died on the cross and how we are redeemed by the cross. And also, Catechism of the Catholic Church, 2157 we read, The Christian begins his day, his prayer and his activities with the sign of the cross, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So in this way, we sanctify ourselves. This is the simple way of sanctification. Also, there is also a greater sign of the cross, or greater way of the cross, or the full sign of the cross we have. So in that way, the sign of the cross strengthens us in our temptations and in our difficulties. And that's why we make the sign of the cross. 1 Corinthians one twenty three, St. Paul says, But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and Gentiles, and the verse 24, but to those who are the called, both Jews and Gentiles, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God people who are called, for them it is the power of God and the wisdom of God. St. Paul reminds you in the Galatians 6.17 From now on, let no one make trouble for me, for I carry the marks of Jesus branded on my body. That's what he said, the marks of Christ branded on my body. Or even 1 Corinthians 1 18, we read, For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So, people who are saved, for them it is the power of God. For the foolish people, it is nothing. So, we have received this sign of the cross from the apostles and the fathers of the church. And in 155 Tertullian mentions that they make the sign of cross well, while they travel, while they light the candle, while they put on the suits and shirts, different ways. And that is how we find from the early fathers of the church. Even Saint Nino speaks about that and Saint Cyril of Jerusalem in 386 he speaks about that and the Saint Athanasius of Alexandria 269 to 379 so we speak or we hear from them and Saint Jerome also has passed on to us this sign of the cross and this sign of the cross we have a simple form the simple form is this way so we bring our hands together and then we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is a simple way or simple sign of the cross. And another we have the full sign of the cross. The full sign of the cross we make, so, the, so we make it a longer way. So we say, by the sign of the cross, deliver us from our enemies. You who are our God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is a longer form. So the shortest form and the longer form. So I am again repeating. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The longer form is, by the sign of the cross, protect us from our enemies. You who are our God, O Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
So these are the ways we make the sign of the cross. So this is how when we make the sign of the cross, all these three fingers come together. Symbol for the Father, symbol for the Son, and the symbol for the Holy Spirit, for the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All these three of them together. And then the other ring finger and little finger. The ring finger it symbolizes the divinity of Jesus and the little finger is the humanity of Jesus. And that is how we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is the way we make Eastern tradition and the Western tradition. So Western tradition they were making so from the right side to the left in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is how they were making. So and they, they continued this Eastern tradition in a similar way. But then we, the Western or the Latin tradition, the Western tradition, when Pope Innocent III in 1190, when he blessed the dead bodies in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So in this way, when he blessed, then people followed him, making the sign of the cross from the left side to the right side. So this is how it has come. And that's why when we make the sign of the cross, we are sanctifying. So when we make the sign of the cross on the forehead, so we are sanctifying our whole brain, our whole thinking process. So all the, all the body. Or when we make sign of the cross on our lips, so we want to sanctify our words and thoughts, what the, whatever that comes from, uh, from our mind. And also when we make the sign of the cross on the chest, so we make so we, we want to sanctify our heart. So this is all we want to keep the Lord in our heart. We want to keep the Lord in our okay, mind. So we want to keep the Lord in our body. So in that way is the three signs of the cross we make on the body. And also the great cross we again make in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The big cross we make. So God Jesus is coming from heaven to earth and then dying on the cross for our salvation and that is how we remember it. This is the shortest prayer. Sign of the cross is the shortest prayer. Simple prayer or it is the Apostles Creed. This is the basic creed we have and in that way so this prayer is made. So with the body we pray, with the mind we pray, with the mouth we pray, so with the spirit we pray, with the different ways we pray and this is the simplest prayer with our body mind and heart and with our lips we separate the whole being we use and pray that the simplest way through that God sanctifies us so this is how we continue whether you make from the right to the left or left to the right this is how the tradition has come but the primary tradition was that so we begin we began with the uh, right to left. So when the right to left when it comes, that's the further because right side is the symbol of authority. Jesus is on the right side of the Father. That's why he came from heaven to the earth. So that's the blessings are coming. And when we make from the left to the right, right, so it means we are offering ourselves to God. We are going to heaven. In that way also we are asking his blessings. So both the ways, either left to right or right to left. So that's those are the traditions we have kept. And the apostles taught, the fathers of the church taught, and now to still today we continue the sign of the cross. And may God sanctify us. The any moment we make the sign of God, may God sanctify each one of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.